That's animation. Um, so yeah, I do have something to talk about, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know where to go besides to, uh, just get right into it. I feel like there was something I wanted to say before it. That'd be it for another day, yes, but one thing I'm grateful for is, um, I'm grateful for, um, like, leashes, because I find that my dog, if, if someone, she'll be out in the yard perfectly fine, but, like, even in the house, when someone walks by, let alone a fucking animal, she's gonna start barking, so... If my dog was unrestrained in the front yard, my dog's gonna chase after whatever it is. Um, she doesn't attack, but she'd stare, she'd stand at a distance and bark. Unless maybe it was a dog. Maybe she'd go up and smell it. Um, but yeah, I don't like to have my dog out when that could happen. There's been times when she fucking gets out of the, the backyard through like a dumbass hole in the fence or something. And, you know, then she, you can hear her scratching at the fucking, um, front door because she got out to the front. But had someone walked by, no one knows she's out, you know, it's whatever. But the only time that we actually, like, walk off my property is when she's on a leash. So, the other day, yesterday, I go on a walk with my dog. I do it every single day. And... You know, I had mentioned this before. There's a black cat in my neighborhood, and it, it just popped up all of a sudden. There's, like, a ton of cats. They have owners. Like, they're not strays, but they just live outside. Um, And the black cat never walked past me. Like, I looked it up after I, I first saw the black cat, and it says if a black cat crosses your path, it's bad luck. But then other parts of the world... Um, like, other than America, see, they say that they're good luck. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna believe that it's good luck. But, so the black cat, he's, he's honestly pretty chill. I think I could walk up and just pet him and he'd be the most lovable cat ever. Um, but like, I'll be walking my dog and the cat will just like stalk. Um, and my dog will wanna... She'll keep barking, right? She's not gonna... Well, actually, she has tried to attack a cat before. But I think it'd be a bit different. Because it's not so much as, like, a wild animal in the back. That's her fucking territory. If she goes in the backyard and there's a cat back there, she's chasing after it. Um, and probably gonna try and attack it. It'd be anything. It'd be a bit of a different story if it was in the front. And around the neighborhood. But yeah, um... You know, I'm walking... And then I hear a <laughs> Obviously, it's a cat. So I look forward. And then there's this one cat that's obviously pissed off. And the black one, he ain't even impressed at all. But he walked across the street. Right, he, well, he like hurriedly, he scurried across the street. Um, because the other one was fucking mad at him. For whatever reason. So he was sitting there tensed up with his shoulders up and his fucking back arched. The black cat's just sitting there, like, like, fucking, like, he ain't even wanted, like, he was being chill as hell. Um, you know, and then we started walking, and then he started to follow a little bit. Anyways, I keep going, and there's a part where I have to walk across the street. Um, so I make it, and then there's a stop sign right there. And the, there's a house on that corner where the stop sign is. And I look over. And they are, it was two people, they had the front door open, they had, they like did the thing so it stays open, and they were carrying groceries inside. And I continued walking, I was a little bit past the stop sign, 
I probably noticed that they were carrying groceries when I was still walking across the street. And a dog walks out. Um, after they had went in to probably put the groceries down. A dog walked out. And I believe it was a Labrador Retriever. My dog is a Chihuahua. And she's 10 years old. And the dog walked out. And he didn't notice immediately. But I had my eyes on him as soon as I fucking saw him. And, you know, he did the thing where, like... I know, like, he, he wasn't, like, going like that anymore. He was like... And his ears perked up. Because he spotted my dog. And he didn't move. And there's another playful dog in my neighborhood. Not not playful. But he I can tell he's a bit of an older dog. I'm pretty sure that if the door was open, he would be a sweet dog. Like, he, that's, that's how I feel about that dog. You know, he's a bit older, I think. Um, you know, and he just sits at the door and he barks. I think he'd be a nice dog. But now I'm not so fucking sure. So I was, I stood still. Um, my heart didn't jump. I wasn't, like, anxious. <laughs> but I was just, like... I didn't... He wasn't... Okay, so he walked out the door. I didn't know if he maybe had an electric collar on. Because I've... There's a dog in my neighborhood that has one of those. Um, I don't walk at that part of the neighborhood anymore. But... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's got. I don't know if maybe there's a leash I can't see around him anyways after a few seconds he darts towards me right so I'm standing here he's at the front door it's about 30 feet maybe I'm not a good judge distance probably about 30 feet so I step in front of my dog um, right, and he's not looking at me, he paid no attention to me, he was bolting towards my fucking dog, and, you know, of course, I stepped in front, and I was kind of like, like, not puffing myself up, but like, I spread my legs apart, like, in case I gotta, like, fucking move, you know, something like that, grab him, I don't fucking know. I don't remember what my plan was, but again, I, I was just trying to get in front, and see if I could guard and see what the dog's intentions were. See if he wanted to run around me, if he was going to run up and then stop and then just bark from a little distance. If, you know, he's going to try and smell me, if he's going to be fucking nice. He tried to go around me. And, you know, I moved a little bit accordingly. And my dog's still behind me. She's not moving. She's not barking. So he tries to go around me. He's fucking focused on my dog. My fucking chihuahua. A Labrador Retriever is focusing on my Chihuahua. He looked like a young dog. Fully grown. And... I didn't know what to do. He was kind of around me now. So... What I did was... There's a lock on my harness. On her harness. No, she has a harness. And then the leash attaches to it. And I can lock it. So I lock it. And, you know, I lift my arm up. It was pretty easy. And I pick her up. <sighs> right? She ends up in, in both my hands. I'm in fucking Puma slides. And I can't fucking run in them efficiently. Because I run home with my dog. I'm like, you know, I say something and then, you know, she starts to pick up a little bit of speed and then we start running. I can't run very well, but I can outrun her in them. So I start to run, and I'm I'm constantly doing that. See any of you still behind me? The owners are yelling, "Lola, stop, stop!" Um. So, my dog's in my fucking arms, because luckily I was able to think quick enough, and you know the harness didn't backfire, because like it goes under her arms but it you know like it doesn't go towards her torso so me picking her up you know there's a chance I couldn't pick her up so cleanly but anyways I did it and I'm pretty sure I hurt her a little bit 
I don't even remember if I had the harness. I'm pretty sure I had the harness in my hand, like the leash in my hand, because I wouldn't have been able to run with that thing during mine. So I'm running and I'm fucking slow because I have my fucking Puma slides on. So eventually I kick him off. I, I keep looking back and he's chasing me. A Labrador Retriever is chasing me. It was not full speed. I would not be able to outrun that dog if it was running full speed. But I did outrun him because I wasn't his target. If my dog tried to run, he would have been full speed. But, you know, so yeah. I was like outrunning him. I kept looking back. I kept looking back. Now, that house, I was almost home. So there's that house, and there's another house, and there's another house, and there's my next door neighbor, and then there's right there. So that's about, from the stop sign to my house, probably 70 feet. So I'm fucking booking it. I'm make, I'm looking behind me, seeing if what the fuck this dude's doing. And after I got to the telephone pole of my next door neighbor's house, like there's a telephone pole, and then my next door neighbor's house starts. I started to slow down a little bit because he tapered off. She tapered off. It's fucking him. It's Lola. Of course, it's trying to kill my dog. And here's another thing I didn't mention. Um. Again, I didn't know its intentions immediately, but the, the, when I knew that my dog is in serious danger, when you hear a dog in a scuffle and when it's trying to bite you, you're like, you, like you hear that, that noise as if it's like biting and like shaking its fucking head. Like you can, you know, that noise. I heard that. That's when I picked her up and ran. Um, and I knew it wasn't a fucking friendly dog from that. So yeah, eventually I get home. I had to run home barefoot. As fast as I could. I couldn't go like that. Because I had her in my arms. Um, but yeah, I get home. And I sit on the couch and my grandma's like, what's wrong? Um, right, because I'm not fucking around. Like, I'm not like, whatever. I just went zero to fucking as fast as I could. And also, I guess maybe a bit of adrenaline because this motherfucker's coming after my dog. So I'm like, <sighs> and I'm fucking comforting my dog. Um, yeah, I was like, I was just fucking chased by a Labrador Retriever because this motherfucker didn't have him on a, on a, he left the door wide open. She's, I'll get to that in a second. So eventually, you know, I'm thinking in my head, I don't like conflict, but it's it's not fucking right for me to not go and like scold them. I, I was like, I gotta scold them. I I gotta fucking say like, no, this is not fucking okay, bro. Like, cause what I was thinking is although I ended up safe, that easy, it was a few feet away that, that dog was from my dog. was straight it was a few fucking feet away from my dog so that's all I was thinking and then you know I'm gonna have to fucking say something because again that's what I'm fucking thinking so I walk over um so I had obviously had to kick my slides off in the road they were placed neatly on their lawn kind of more towards the end dog was gone the neighbors were in the house i was like at least they were kind enough to to neatly place my my slides on their lawn you know i'm walking towards them i noticed that a woman comes out i wasn't like making it known that i was like just looking at her so i just kept walking um kind of like not tense but like i don't want to talk kind of demeanor so I pick up my slides 
And she comes out. She has purple hair. She's a bit heavy. She's pale as fuck. It's a side part. She has a lip piercing. She has glasses. You know the picture. So I imagine she's a lesbian. Not that it matters. Uh, that's just the picture that I was painted. Um, which really it doesn't matter. Like, there's no stereotype that I could contribute to this. Um, just that was an observation of mine. She came out. She was like, I think she was like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, she, she was just wanting to play. Well, I, I don't know. I don't remember how exactly the dialogue went, but I was like. <laughs> um. Well, okay, I'm going to just say what I remember. She was just trying to play, you know. She plays with everyone full of shit. She just doesn't want me to be mad. She was trying to de-escalate me. Which I could fucking tell. She was, you know, and I'm not going to scold her. Right? One, because she's being nice. Two, because I'm not really angry. Like, I, I don't, fuck, I just don't do that. I, I don't get, like, that emotional about things. Or at least I never resort to yelling at people. Especially when I don't know them. Like, it's not my first reaction to just go and fucking tell someone off. Regardless what they did. Of course, there'd be, like, circumstances. But it's more, like, business. It happened. Like, this is what happened. And, and how I was about it, it was like... No one was... No one was hurt. Alright. So... I don't really care, just, you know, and, and I was saying how I think, I was like, you know, I, with a dog like that, I wouldn't leave the fucking wide open, the door wide open completely, right, I was criticizing a little bit, she was like, yeah, I don't even remember how she took it, but you know, she was like joking, you know, like I was showing, like, it's a water under the bridge, kind of, she was reciprocating that back, almost trying to de-escalate me, you know, be joking about it, hope. I don't, I don't know, bring legal action or, or do anything. Um, and maybe she did feel bad about the whole thing. Anyways, you know, pampering my fucking dog all day. And my legs are fucked up now. I haven't full, I haven't ran as fast as I could in a long time. I have shin splints and I've been getting them treated. I go to physical therapy like once a week. And I've been running quarter miles, no, um, three quarter miles, three quarters of a mile every single time I go to the gym. Um, so yeah, it's at the gym, so I'm trying, I know it's a bit different, but I haven't had to full speed run, even though it was 70 feet. Um, so yeah, my legs are a bit fucked up in a, in a way I haven't felt. It's a bit eye opening. I, it, it throws me right back to when I used to be injured like worse when I wasn't getting my shin splints treated but there's definitely like more hope for me like I know what to do it's just I already know what, what was up when you run faster you use you incorporate the hamstrings you incorporate the quads more you incorporate everything more but it's different muscles that were being pulled into it um but yeah and I and I kind of hate myself for this I was wanting like to feel like I did something great because I said what I said and my grandma was taking it like oh no big deal like like because she wasn't there but my dog seriously could have just fucking died or been seriously injured it's a chihuahua she's a 12 pound chihuahua she's not like one of those tiny ones really frail looking like she got some meat on her but it's a fucking Labrador Retriever. I don't think that she understood like I was thinking that my dog could have just been fucking killed, like I said, or seriously injured. And if she was, we can't fucking afford this shit. She has problems right now. They're not solved for a reason. We don't have the fucking money. So, I don't know. Maybe because, again, she wasn't recognizing the severity. I don't know. I, and then I ended up just bringing up. If you were walking her, she would have been dead. 
And she was like, ah, just pick her up. No, she wouldn't have. She would not have because she's slower. She's a lot fucking slower. I just know she wouldn't have. Anyways, I was like, I, I think I deserve a thanks, which again, I, I fucking hate that I did. And I hate that I think that way, I, that I was asking for praise and even wanting praise. My dog's fucking alive and unharmed because of my quick thinking and, and I mean, I don't know. It, like, I didn't really have to think about it. It was just, I just pulled her up because I knew I could with the, you know, I lock it, there's a rope, boom, I had to pull her up, scoop. But yeah, it could have easily went a lot worse. You know, as far as hurting the other dog, um, at least in retrospect, I probably thought of it at the time as well. I'm in no condition to stop this dog. I have fucking no socks on with slides. A kick to it is not doing shit. It's going to hurt me more than it hurts the fucking dog. You know, I'm not going to punch the fucking thing because that's just not going to work. I can't grab it because then what happens to my dog? You know, like maybe she runs into the fucking road, get, gets hit by a car. Because it's right, it's coming off of like, um, like a really big road. And then you just turn. So there's a big road, and then you turn into my small neighborhood. Easily could have happened. It could have went a lot worse. And it, it really makes me not want to fucking walk her. I, I've never really wanted to, but it's what she needs. It's what she deserves. It's something she really fucking enjoys, and it's something I feel like I have to give her. And, you know, there's been things in the past where fucking, you know, like some people got dogs out in the front, but they were at least on a leash, but still, it's so fucking annoying. How I can't walk my own fucking dog without worrying about another fucking untrained dog charging at my dog. Not even on a leash. There was one other time, you know, I'm walking and I didn't notice it immediately. <laughs> but because there's a little tree, but I got around the tree in this person's yard. It wasn't even like a big tree. Like it was like a fucking bonsai tree. If, you, if it was like five times the size, I don't know what kind of fucking tree. And then there's just, like, some fluffy black dog sitting there. Like a, like a medium-sized dog. And, you know, I look over. And I see it, obviously. It's just sitting there. Uh, at the end of the driveway. Or no, not even, not, no. It was, it was further back than that. And then, you know, my dog walked past the tree. Out into the open. And then it saw my dog. And I, I don't even know what I was, what I was thinking in the moment. But, you know, like, their garage was open. So it ran. And thank fucking God, it was on a rope. So it hit the rope, and then it, like, fucking went. Because, you know, it's around its fucking neck. Whatever. Could have went away fucking worse. My dog was a bit startled. I remember she, like, went across the street a little bit as soon as the dog started charging. Like, I don't feel safe doing it. And it's annoying because I'd be perfectly fine going. But I have to account for her. Like, oh my God. Again, it's the only time that I've ever, like, been in seri in an actual, like, danger. But oh, my fucking God, bro. It's just so annoying when I have to deal with fucking dogs. Keep them in the fucking house. I don't care if you're sitting there. Because, again, there was another time. And, oh, my God, if they weren't on leashes, I would have been fucked my dog would have been dead there were these two huge fucking dogs and there were people sitting out there <laughs> and we're by this big road that i was talking about because it's a different route so we walk alongside the fucking road and you know they have cars and i get past the cars and then there's these fucking two big ass dogs laying there and they're leashed up thank fucking god because they were bigger than that fucking labrador retriever and there were two of them like, hey, hey, hey. All I do is lock up, and I know that she's behind me, so I lock her up so she can't move into the fucking road. And I don't, I, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. If they weren't on their fucking leash, she's dead. Like, I can't do anything about that. They would have chased. They're more vicious. And there's fucking two of them. They would have chased me. And they would have fucking taken me down. 
I probably would have had to go in the fucking fetal position with her in between while they fucking nip at her legs and shit. Like, fucking, oh my god, I just don't want to fucking see any dogs on my fucking thing. Leave me alone. Keep them in the fucking house. There, there's no fucking need. I know my dog would do no damage to anyone. The reason I don't want her out is because I know she could get hit by a fucking car. If they have a dog, if my dog runs up to it, let's say the owner isn't strong enough to keep the bitch on the leash. And the fucking, I don't know, dumbass big fucking Rottweiler. It, let's say it's some like 110 pound fucking woman with a rope trying to hold back a fucking 200 pound Rottweiler. My dog is dead. Like it could have went down a lot fucking worse. So bro. Training, okay. I Like it's not like my dog is trained. She's just an awkward dog. Like, she doesn't attack. She'll just fucking bark from a distance. She's just an awkward dog. And different dog breeds are different, I know. But it would be really fucking nice if training was mandatory. And, and I don't know, people weren't stupid leaving their fucking front door open. And the bitch told me she had another dog. It was a smaller dog. So you have two dogs in your house. You leave the fucking front door wide open. And again, it comes down to that black cat walking down my path. That was the first time I walked down my path, and then that fucking happened. So next time I have, I don't, I'm turning around. I'm turning the fuck around. I don't, I don't care. Because, bro, what the fuck? And, yeah. So, my legs hurt in, like, the, like, the fucking upper region. I, I always feel, I've never felt it anywhere but my calves. I can feel it in my, um... Like, the fucking groin area. Like, right where the femur connects into the fucking... The hip bone. Or wherever the fuck it connects. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to train for sprints. Instead of just, like, jogging. Because, obviously, that's an area I need to work on now. I don't know, just, like, little sprints from blank to blank. Because, again, it was insightful. I didn't... I didn't take into account that I... Like, I'm recovering by jogging for X amount of time. So the time matters. As I go up in time, it'll be harder. <laughs> but I didn't think about um, speed. Uh, if I was on a treadmill, it would have been a bit different. But a lot could have went fucking wrong. And, again, I didn't have to go today because I just lost I didn't even lose track of time I was busy and I got home from college and it was too dark so I was like okay it's not going but I'm gonna have to go tomorrow if, it, if the weather calls for it and I'm just gonna be paranoid the whole fucking time and here's another thing when I'm having my little walk of fucking fury back to the other bitch's house to go get my slides that's the only reason I went if I had my slides no I still I would have made myself go over but, bro, tell me why there's a car that was driving behind me, right? I didn't have fucking shoes on because I was going to get them. And then I hear a bark. And I tell you, I went, bro, I'm going to have fucking PTSD now. I heard a bark. And I turn around so fucking fast. Bro, it was a chihuahua hanging. His, his head was hanging out the back of a car. It was actually pretty cute. He did a drive-by bark on me. He fucking... He did the good kind of drive-by. It could have been a worse drive-by. But... Bro, he did a drive-by bark on me. And it scared the shit out of me. And hold up. Ugh. Oh, here's my dog. I'm so... I'm actually so happy that she's safe. Because, again, it could have went down... So much worse. <laughs> Could have went down a lot worse. She's well loved. And I hope that the harness didn't hurt her or anything. It might have, but yeah. What's happened has happened. There's no stopping it. I don't know. There's preventative ways. Bring a fucking gun. I don't know. A knife wouldn't help. 
Um, but yeah, peace out. Control your fucking dogs because some people have smaller dogs. Especially if you have a bigger dog. Be careful. These even for your own dog's sake. It could it could have been hit by a car. Of course, I was running on the side of the fucking road, like not in the middle of it, not down the fucking street into traffic or anything. Peace, Mar. Why the fuck are you gonna do that? I know my dog will get out. So guess what? When I bring groceries in, even if my both my hands are empty, I figure out a fucking way. I don't prop the door open. I get it open myself, and then block her from leaving. Don't be fucking stupid, Ron. I hope that they learn. That's the only time I've fucking dealt with, with, with that, especially from them. I didn't even know they had dogs, but yeah, peace out.